Hi everyone, welcome back to Health Net Nutrition. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today's video, I am partnering up with Manitoba Harvest. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually one of their brand ambassadors for all of 2016, which is really cool because I have loved Manitoba Harvest products for quite a while now, so it's only fitting that I'm sharing the hemp heart love with all of my viewers. In today's recipe, I'm making a one bowl hemp banana bread, and of course I had to sneak in some chocolate chips in there because I don't know about you, but like I feel like I can't have banana bread without chocolate chips. It's almost disappointing if someone's like, I just made some banana bread and there's no chocolate chips. So don't worry, I'm not disappointing anyone. There's, It's full of hemp and chocolate chips and it tastes amazing. Plus there's like hardly any cleanup because it's all made in one bowl. So if you guys are interested in finding out how to make this awesome baked hemp banana bread, then just keep watching. You'll need some almond flour and spelt flour, Manitoba Harvest hemp hearts, chocolate chips, I use dairy free ones, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and some sea salt. You'll also need some very ripe bananas, couple of eggs, melted coconut oil, some raw honey, you can also use agave or maple syrup, and some vanilla. So in a medium sized bowl, you're going to peel and mash up your very ripe bananas. Making sure they're nice and ripe just adds extra sweetness and creamy texture to this banana bread. And it gives a purpose for those super ripe banana bread or bananas that you don't want to throw out. And then this is what you should end up with after everything is nice and mashed. Go ahead, add in your melted coconut oil, making sure it's at room temperature. Crack a couple of eggs in there. You can also use flax or chia eggs if you don't wanna use actual eggs in this recipe. Add in your raw honey, your vanilla, and then give it all a really good whisk until well combined. And then we're gonna add all the dry ingredients using a sifter, and this makes it really easy to just make your banana bread all in one easy bowl. So less cleanup, and it's just quicker in my opinion. So you're gonna sift everything in, and it will just kind of mix all the dry ingredients into the wet while you're sifting. So it's like two in one, it's awesome. I love this little trick. And then I will slowly just fold all the ingredients together with a spatula. You don't wanna over mix it. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna add in our chocolate chips and our Manitoba Harvest hemp hearts. And this is just gonna add some extra sweetness and protein to your banana bread. And then you can go ahead and transfer your batter into a parchment lined loaf pan. I'm using the ceramic one, I love it. I'll put a link down for one below. I just find it bakes everything very evenly and I love using it for banana bread. Give it a quick flatten with the back of the spatula and then top it with some sliced banana. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on some Manitoba Harvest hemp hearts on there and I just think it makes it look really pretty when it's out of the oven. You're gonna pop this into a preheated oven until it's nice and baked and golden brown. Once it's ready, you can go ahead and take it out of the oven. And I always use the spaghetti test. You can also use a toothpick. I will stick it down the middle of the banana bread and if it comes out clean, then it's baked. And then transfer it to a cooling rack so it can cool down and you can slice into it um, and enjoy it. And you can add some organic butter or some earth balance to it totally optional and it's so good guys eat this straight out of the oven you'll love it now for a fun option too we're gonna make mini banana loaves this is such a fun little way to turn banana bread into cute little loaves and I'm just gonna grease all of these mini loaf pans I'll have a link down for these below my boyfriend Matt actually bought these for me and I am putting them to use I'm using my ice cream scoop and just evenly scooping out the batter into all the pans Same thing as before, we're gonna decorate these banana loaves with some sliced banana and then some hemp hearts, just sprinkle that right on top. Pop 
pop them into the oven to bake. Best part about the mini version is that they actually bake in less time. I'll have all of the baking instructions over on my blog, healthnutnutrition.ca, so be sure to check that out. I'll have a link down below. Once they're ready, you can go ahead, transfer them to a cooling rack, and let them cool so you can pop them right out. These are great to gift to a friend or a family member, or you can just kind of pretend you're portion controlling and eat the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys recreate this recipe. And if you do, don't forget to send me a photo on social media using the hashtag #HealthNightEat so I can easily find it and like it. And if you did like this video and you want to see more recipes like this, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking right here. And can I just say I am so freaking close to 100,000 subscribers on my channel. And I don't know if I'm gonna hit it by the time this video goes up, but. Holy macro, like I am so freaking excited. Thank you so much guys for watching and supporting my channel. You guys mean so much to me and I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So thank you and show me the love by recreating this recipe. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fabulous day and get bacon some banana bread. Bye guys.